What's going on, you guys? Like, <clears throat> welcome you guys to another DC TV talk episode 28. You guys know, as you guys should know by now, I do these in like uh, weekly increments of like four. Now, it used to be three. You used to do part one that involves Legends of the Marvel, part two it involves Flash and Black Lightning. It used to be part three was Arrow and Gotham, but now part three will be for Krypton since Krypton come on Wednesday, and part four will be for Arrow and Gotham. Uh, I have four, day, four days of DC shows, and then I got a nice little Marvel show coming in on Friday with the Agents of Shield. So, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and want to know how I do this, this is exactly how it's done. Those, the, the reviews for those episodes will be up the following day. So, today's Tuesday. So, DC Legends of the Marvel came on last night. So, yeah, you get it. But anyway, which you probably seen in the title. I don't know if I put it in now, decide to put it in or not. But DC Legends of Tomorrow to, for me is like a a PG thirteen or, or PG. I don't know exactly. What, I don't know if it's PG thirteen or fourteen. Uh, they, but either way, it go for me, it's like a PG Deadpool simply. But and by by that I mean the show knows exactly what it is. It knows its audience. It knows its fans. It, and, and that's pretty much like Deadpool. That they pretty. Much, it seems like everybody pretty much so self aware of what it is and 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 where they at in the world. That they, they have so much fun with the show. Which last night was probably one of the, the probably one of my favorite episodes since um the episode with the pirates, which was, I thought was one of the best episodes of DC Legends of the Mars to me. I've said multiple times that DC Legends of the Mars is probably the best show on TV right now, and because it truly, for me, it truly seems like that, because last night with the stuff with Ava, we found out that Ava was actually an AI, and we didn't, I think we think last week, or whenever we first saw it, well, I think it might have been last week, we just said AI, Ava, Okay, now we get it. And the fact that we see that Rip took her from 2213 and now she's, she's, we wondered why she doesn't remember. Then we saw her parents. I thought her parents were going to be robots, but we found out that they're actors. Uh, and, and that was funny. Sarah, the whole Sarah's like, she's trying to get over Ava but at the same time, cause, cause Sarah's not even, she, she's scared of who she is. She's like, you know, I'm, I'm actually like not a good person. I'm, I don't want to endanger the people around me, especially while we so close to getting these totals, feel like I'm a person who, who can mess it up. And in all actuality, you just cut world because she still had feelings about Ava. Then we see Ava's off. Then we go to 20 through 13 and find out like, yo, Ava's the reason why uh, everybody there is has an Ava, you know what I'm saying? If, if it would be me, I probably would try to get one of them, like hook up with one of them, just to be like, yo, I know what you like. That's that's, that's neither here nor there, because uh, one of them gonna say yeah. I mean, come on, there's a planet full of them. One of them has to say yes to at least a chicken dinner. Shit, but <laughs> but then that fight thing. Then you have the stuff with Zara, who is Zara is just. She's she's becoming like Mick for me. I don't need a whole bunch of them, but yet whenever she's there, I love it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I don't. I, I'm saying I don't need a whole bunch of them because if I do get a whole bunch of, I probably my brain probably ex explode because she's just that fucking dope. Her and Mick, and then you have a, them two going at it. Mick calls her a bitch. I don't know what I said. She finna with my boy ass because he don't know how to control this totem yet. She finna fuck him up. And, uh, and I want to see more of her just whooping his ass up first. Because as soon as she she did that, he got a bit. She started whooping his ass. Then we cut. I'm pretty disappointed next. I want to see her just thrash my boy. Because love me, I love Zara. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we also had Kawasa. We oh dog, this episode really had a lot of stuff, and, and I really feel like they gave this one of the episodes where they really gave everybody something to do, and they gave Wally something, they gave uh, Dark something. We see, and and, and this where it really comes in to me that not only do the heroes know where they're in, is that Damien Dark even knows where he's like, man, this I, I, I don't I, I want to tear down the world and build it up on my own image, but not like this. You know what I'm saying? Not where. You and him and Nate are just having a conversation while he's supposed to be torturing Nate. 
it's great. It's 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 all fun. Like it's, it's just so much fun. And then they added uh, something even deeper with the fact they killed off Kawasa, which I didn't think totem bears can be killed like that. I don't think like because me and my we be we be, me and my partner be watching. We just be like, bro, there's no way she going uh they they can take down. She she got the water totem bear. Like they can't grab her or anything like that. She just just dis disappear in the water. And debunk that theory quickly. Grab the t fucking rip the totem right out of her fucking chest. I said, "Oh shit, she did." Well, didn't see that one coming. People did not. No, no, who saw it? I don't know, but this guy did not. Thought it was good, good. And you, you have the stuff with the Maya, her and Nate. And the Kawasa really was like, like, yo, you shouldn't be doing this because this is fucking up our family. Then uh, Amaya leaves to try to go save her. It's just a whole bunch of stuff, but it, to me, it all was going to end up shrinking it down. And another thing like, we used to I, I always say is like, they got they got bear. I mean, they got Wally now. Wally just speed force. And, I mean, you know, what I'm saying zoom by and get that shit real quick. She literally took the fucking like, like <laughs> I mean, uh, Nora took the lightning from this dude. It threw it back at it. Like it is it, it, it's it just shows a bunch of fun. Uh I you have a I have a blast watching it every single week. Uh this week, same story. Same story. It, it was just as good. Uh, and, and and like I said, the the greatest thing about the show is that the show knows exactly what it is and it doesn't try to be more than that. It don't try to beat you over the head with some kind of serious tone. The show is fun. And, and everybody in the so self-aware. The joke with Ray talking about, yo, this is the second worst uh, Tiger the Clones I've seen. A lot of people didn't catch it. I caught it. Super hilarious. Super. Like, I, I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Uh, uh, yeah, like, subscribe. That's pretty much it. I don't think else you can do. You can share it. And nobody really ever does that. But you can share it, like, comment, and subscribe. We got four things you can do. Just do two of them. I don't even care which two you do. Just do two. Peace out, y'all. Oh, shit. I ain't cut off yet. Shit. Stop. Get, the, get out the trash. Why are you on the trash in the groceries? Why are the groceries? Why is the groceries by the trash? That's just bad.